let's do this and shall we? Everything wrong with my 23,000 mile Honda Civic. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to another video back on the Driven 24-7 Automotive YouTube channel. As always, my name is Amber and today it is, you guessed it, another Honda video. So today we're going to be doing a video on the Honda said car that we have behind me. This isn't any old Honda, this is a 23,000 mile Honda Civic. So yes, I have my Museum Minter Civic right behind me and today I'm going to be telling you everything that is wrong with her. And we're going to round up the video there because there's nothing wrong with her at all. Thanks for watching, goodbye. I am joking, okay? This is a 1997 car, one elderly woman owner from you. So, yeah, she does have a couple of little dinks and scratches, and I'm going to tell you everything that is wrong with her and everything that needs doing with her, which you'll see over time. This is, I hopefully, fingers crossed, she's going to say it on camera now, going to be my forever car. Plans are, once the Abarth has been and gone, she will forever remain in my ownership and in my heart lots of sentimental value this car has to me and you can click on the card above to see why this car means so much to me oh cute i'm in love so this is going to be a fairly short video really because there isn't really a lot wrong with the car but i did want to film the stuff that is wrong with her because it will be stuff that obviously i want to fix and there are some sort of more urgent things that need fixing sooner rather than later so let's do this and shall we everything wrong with my 23,000 mile honda civic <laughs> So because the car was owned by one elderly owner and it barely covered sometimes a thousand miles a year, I have to check, but it did barely any mileage at all. It was always sat in the garage. So as you can expect from a car that's been sitting around, the tyres perish. So obviously I wanted to use this car. Well, it's a short on the road. I am using it. Sometimes I take it to and from work. Not that my work's very far away, but I love to use this car. Obviously, the more you don't use a car, the more things that then become the car then develops problems from just sitting around so yeah when i got the car all four tires were perished from being sat around and not being driven and obviously because i wanted to drive the car that meant all four tires needed to be changed for new ones so yeah tires had to be changed in order for me to actually drive the vehicle to and from work or so it had to be safe so because i was in the motor trade i managed to get a good quote on four falcon tires and when it was actually a friend of martin my now fiance if you like it then you should have put a ring on it oh he did baby and i'm so happy one of martin's mates actually works at a local tire shop where we got the quote so while the car was on the ramps and yeah his mate actually recorded some videos which i'll insert now And he actually said, he sent a message to Martin saying this car underneath is so, so clean. And hopefully you can see that from the clips I've just put in. But anyway, four new Falcon tyres were added to each corner of the Honda Civic. Falcon tyres as well are quite a good tyre. I think it was £100 I paid for all four tyres, including fitting. And obviously I got a discount because I was in the trade. So yeah, four tyres are now on. It did need four tyres. They've now been done. So there are a few cosmetic blemishes, scratches, scrapes, not too many to be honest, but let's show you around the car now and show you the exterior side of stuff that I probably won't get done, but yeah, it's just imperfections basically. I'll show you. So it's nice that a bird's decided to put it in the car just as so I take it out for a video, but that is a blemish, but that obviously can be easily removed. So let's talk about the sort of couple of scratches, dents, etc. this car has got from obviously its previous elderly owner. So you can't see, uh, actually you might be able to, there's a little dent there in the bonnet which you can see right so i've never actually washed the civic since she has been in my ownership for around three to four months now but i will get around to it just being busy and all that so you have to excuse or see the dirtiness this is a car that is being driven so to start off with on the corner you can see on these really nice deep black plastics we have some scraping we have like a bit couple of sort of body scrapes there i don't know i'd like to get this replaced one day i don't know if these things even come off they look like they're sort of painted on but yeah, we've just got a little bit of damage to the front passenger side corner. 
Just carrying on with the passenger side now, we have a couple of little scrapes in the mirror again, but that can maybe be blacked out. Nothing too major. Like I say, the only dent I've seen so far is the little dent we have on the bonnet going around to the car. Nothing really here to add around the back, apart from it's being dirty. Nothing here. I've just noticed as I've just been in and out of the boot, a couple of, that's, that's dirt, a couple of scratches here and a couple of marks here. I don't know if that's in my ownership, not that I've hit anything, but someone or something's been brushed up against it, I don't know. Um, going around to the back, it's actually coming up quite clean on camera, it's pretty good. Tiny little imperfection there in these uh, black trim plastics. What a pain. The exhaust, I will just add that. So on a previous advisory, I think it had, said it had some holes in it. The guy I bought it from apparently just welded it up, so hopefully that will do. But again, I'm still in two minds whether to modify this car or not. I mean, at the moment I haven't got the money to modify it and I quite like it being original and standard. But if I go down the modified route, it will probably have a whole new loud, well, reasonably loud exhaust system. So the exhaust hopefully will be alright for the time being, keeping it standard and original for the time being. But yeah, the exhaust, ideally the back box could do with a, a change. So we've got a couple of little scratches just going over to the driver's side door handle, I suppose, where the ladies maybe had her keys scratched up against the car. Um, but yeah, again, all these little scratches are probably something I can just get out with a bit of hand polishing and that. I've actually just spotted as well, there is a tiny little dent up here, you can sort of see it on camera. There. So obviously this being a red car, these are known to fade in, the paintwork fade in, also because it has been garaged all its life apart from since it's been in my ownership, these obviously, the paintwork on this, the red is still really vibrant and popping as you can see on camera, but obviously at, up close, especially on the bonnet, um, a lot of paint correction is needed, luckily it's not showing the swells on camera, but there is, this yeah, the bonnet is just covered in swell, so again, one day I'll pay a proper professional valet, a detailer, just give them, look, £200, have the car for a day, and uh, give it a good mop over, get rid of all the imperfections in the paintwork, and that'll make the red pop even more. Obviously, like I say, I haven't cleaned this car yet in my ownership, it's due a clean, it's due a clay bar, which all things that I'm happy to do, and I can do myself, but one day I'll pay a professional to get all the swirls and scratches out. The car needs a little bit of TLC, but not a lot. One major issue is we're going to go underneath the bonnet, and I'll show you something that's urgent that does need doing. So let's pop the bonnet and I'll show you. So under here we have the 1.5 VTEC 2 engine, and we are in the engine bay because the cam belt actually needs changing. Now when I bought the car, the guy said, because obviously you either changed the cam belt due to years or mileage, and obviously the mileage point of things, it doesn't need a cam belt, but when the cam belt was last changed, it does. So it is definitely something, I've been quoted from a Honda, uh, around about over £200, but it's definitely something I want to get done by Honda. Definitely something that needs doing in general. Um, it's okay for the time being, but again, it is something that needs doing, and that is the cam belt. So another thing to add, when I got the car back October time, it had a short MOT. I will be filming another video about the MOT. When I bought the car, I knew it needed four new tyres straight away. I knew the cam belt needed doing, even a guy said it didn't, but my my brother's a mechanic and he said, look, it does need doing, and it is something that needs doing. The tyres needed doing, they have obviously been done to make it safe for me to drive out and about. So yeah, I do use this car in between my bath. It's quite cool, because when I've been out in this all week, I then appreciate my bath, and then when I've been in my bath all week, I then appreciate the old school smell of being in the old Civic. And as you've seen from the bodywork, it's got a few little scratches and scrapes, but what do you expect from a 97 car? Apart from that, there's absolutely no rust, which is the main thing, so it'll come up nice with a polish to get rid of a lot of those scratches. I will be doing a cleaning video on this, because why not? It's content for you guys. I'm going to go now, because it's about to start raining. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, then please hit that thumbs up button and let me know you've liked this video. Comment below on your thoughts on the condition of my 23,000 mile Honda Civic. Make sure you subscribe to my automotive YouTube channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time a video goes up on my automotive YouTube channel. Follow all my socials at the end of this video. And if you want to support me further, check out... Oh, it's you. <laughs> if you want to support me further, then check out my online store where I make my own stickers. I've also got t-shirts and beanie hats for sale. www.driven247.co.uk I'll see you in another video. There will be more for Honda to come, so sorry our bath owners, but I also have some of my bath content to come too. This is the place to be. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.